Honda believes the future is electric, whether that's automobile or motorcycle or jet. They want to be carbon neutral or zero emission propulsion by 2040. I don't believe it's going to happen. But regardless, Honda is plowing ahead. And today we're going to talk about their new motorcycle coming out in Europe. And maybe we'll see it here in the United States. Maybe not. And after we're done discussing that motorcycle and its uniqueness, we will talk about is it even possible to have a fully electric future for Honda or other motorcycle manufacturers or even car manufacturers for that matter? It's going to be a fun topic today, guys. Strap up, ride safe, and who put... My kids must have done that. This is a church parking lot. It would be absolutely uh, a really, really good parking lot for practicing maneuvers. So maybe I should do that. Maybe you should do, I don't want to get you guys sick. Like when I, before I even get full lock, my handlebar runs into my knee. So I kind of have to like spread out my legs. That's what she said to be able to turn this thing. And there's sand in this parking lot. It's Florida. There's going to be sand everywhere, but yeah. All right. Shall we get going? Shall we talk about the WN7 from Honda? They're, they are very proud of this motorcycle. And if you guys remember uh, just, I don't know, was it a week, two weeks ago? At, uh, I was talking about the Japan Mobility Show for Honda. And at the Japan Mobility Show, which make sure you are subscribed, I'm heading to Japan in a month to go to the Mobility Show to show you what Honda showing, not only in the automotive end on my main channel, but on this channel, I'll be showing you what Honda's working on on the motorcycle end. Okay, the WN7 will definitely be there and I'll sit on it, tell you guys what I think about it, what it looks like in person, because like, well, yeah, the pictures of the, Lord. Oh. <laughs> the pictures of it are well it, it looks very much like the concept fun bike that they had a while back is it I don't know it doesn't it doesn't look that amazing to me let me know what you guys think I think it comes in three different colors there's some like bronze on one of them it doesn't look like a traditional motorcycle it doesn't need to have a tank it doesn't uh you need to have i guess a clutch <laughs> or you know a gear selector on the left hand side where your foot is it's just twist and rip baby let's talk about the uh yeah like i mentioned it's coming up for europe first interestingly it's called the wn7 we've never seen this sort of nomenclature from honda before not a rebel it's not a cbr um, oh, Mercedes, he's, he jumped off the line there, he jumped off the line, that old man, don't think about it Corolla, don't think about it, so W stands for like be the wind, and N stands for naked, okay, so naked wind is roughly what it translates to, and you know seven i don't know what does seven stand for well here's my guess honda claims that it has the power of a 600 cc motorbike so i'm assuming inline four so let's say that's 100 and 115 horsepower right there honda's claiming that it has 115 horse but because of the torque it has leader bike it has fire blade levels of torque and twist okay so this thing would just be a wheelie a wheelie monster rear tire shredding machine okay plenty fast despite it being i'm sure it's it's fairly heavy because what's up dude what's he on i don't know a little v-twin action anyways it's you know it's easy to make electrified Ooh, is this is this green here bumpy patch there oh lord all right so 
plenty of torque, plenty of power. This thing will absolutely rip, but it's electric. So how fun will it be? It'll be faster than this bike, but I would have way more fun on this bike, right? I can roll my own gears. It sounds amazing. You just have a relationship with it. All right, so we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. But Honda's claiming it has 130 kilometers per range, which is uh, around 83 miles. Uh, and so I, I looked around and it might have something like a 10 kilowatt hour battery. You can estimate what kind of miles per kilowatt hour it would have. All right, so, you know, whatever, 80 miles of range and it does have fast charging, but who cares? This is, this is Honda's first bike that doesn't have mobile power pack. It has a fixed battery. So yeah, that has its pros and cons, right? Supposedly you can charge this thing like 20 to 80% in about a half an hour. Not very convenient because you're going to have to be stopping. If you're taking a trip on this thing, you're going to have to stop all the damn time. 80 miles? And realistically, you're at more like 60 miles, all right? Because you don't want to run the thing to zero, uh, zero percent. Um, and charging after 80% takes forever. So it's like, it's a complete like niche bike, complete niche. It can only be used in cities. That is going to really limit its marketability. And that's why they, they have no plans to bring it to America, I bet, no plans. There's no, there's, they know that they're, the market for EV cars is not good here. And let alone EV motorcycles. Look how hard of a time Kawasaki's having to sell its hybrid, let alone its fully electric variant of that bike, right? If your daily commuting is less than 80 miles, you can just charge at home overnight. That's pretty simple. That makes sense. But again, very, very niche. I really want to ride it. I think it'd be a hoot, but would I own one or want to own one? I don't, I don't think so. And I think, I think electric motorcycles don't have a future in the near term. They just are so compromised. They don't have the ability to quick charge. Uh, 10, 10 to 80% in a half an hour is not quick. Um, you, they are heavy. So we need solid state batteries to kind of fix that. And who knows when they're gonna come, right? The Holy Grail, who knows when the Holy Grail of batteries is coming. All right, you'd go from 80 to 100, 100 mi uh, sorry, 160 miles with the same weight. And it would charge two, three times faster. But, you know, until then, even then, like, and that's what we're waiting for on cars too. Once we can have that sort of fast charging, that sort of range and energy density in a battery, it's just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen on a motorcycle. And I don't think this bike will succeed anywhere. Now, in other countries where Honda is very successful, let's look at Southeast Asia, India, they sell a, did someone just honk? Did I hear that? I have earplugs in it. It sounded like someone honked. Anyways, in other markets in Southeast Asia, India, where there's not the greatest infrastructure, they want to have Honda mobile power packs. This kind of makes sense, but you still have to build in an insane infrastructure of honeycomb dispenser of little handheld batteries. But I think it makes more sense than what Honda currently has with this WN7. Okay, the WN7 is, well, it's, I like the single-sided swing arm. I forgot to mention that. I don't have the, the, the bike in front of me to look at, or I'm just going off of memory. My ZX4 does some weird things sometimes when I haven't ridden it for a while, like first and second gear. Sometimes it just, it, it like stalls out at a certain RPM, okay? And I'm ex and then I get hit with almost like a turbo lag. It's not the safest thing, but it's probably due to me not riding it as often as I should. When I ride it back to back days, I don't have that issue. So it's just like, I don't know if there's water accumulating somewhere. I live in a very wet and humid environment here. So if you guys have any, any idea why like, 
I have like sticky spots in my throttle. Not that the throttle's sticky, but like you're expecting the revs to climb and it just like, it kind of just bogs down for a bit and then it gives you the power. All right. And like I said, it, it seems to remedy itself after uh, I've ridden it for like quite a bit. But anyways, mobile power packs make sense, but I, I just, you know, it, it would never work really in America. In America, we have something similar in like propane tanks where you can swap propane tanks. Okay, everybody's got a grill. Not everyone has a motorcycle or wants to have a motorcycle, right? So like it just, it, in other countries, it makes way more sense. Mobile power pack will never make sense here in the United States unless it's like a lawnmower or I don't know. It just, it doesn't make sense for uh, a, a motorbike. If you guys can make the rationale for it, let me know in the comments. Interestingly, Honda hasn't really, I mean, a Yamaha is doing it. Uh, Kawasaki is doing it with the hybrid motorcycle. Honda has solid hybrids on the automotive end. Why the heck are they not bringing hybridization to motorcycles? They're just skipping to fully battery electric. I don't know. I mean, if you look at Acura, Acura skipped their hybrids. They had hybrids, they killed them. They had hybrids before the hybrid was a thing and they just gave up on them. And now here's Acura without any hybrids. And they're like, okay, well we have an EV, you know, the RSX kind of heresy, right? Bringing the RSX back as a coupe crossover electric and not a real coupe. Anyways, yeah, they're just, Honda has some very questionable uh, decisions and it's apparent on the motorcycles. It's apparent on their luxury division Acura. It's even apparent in Honda's motor or like a, uh, automobile business with a lack of large platform hybrids okay Honda's is like hey we're gonna be we're gonna be the leader out of Japan and we're gonna go fully electric and it's not I mean it's too early to call now but it's not looking good all right it's like they're playing they're trying to play a game that where the, they think the game ends soon like they're like oh you know we're trying to be a, out ahead of the curve but the reality is, is that the world is not ready for fully electric stuff. And when you're talking about motorcycles, at least here in America, I know America is more niche. Europe, Europe motorcycles are more mainstream, but there's still a passion there for passionate riding. And an electric, well, it would be a great commuter as long as the metrics work for you. You've done the math and the charging and the range and all that stuff. But it, it doesn't tick the boxes or play at the, I don't trust this Cadillac it doesn't play at the heartstrings and motorcycles in America are toys for the most part not everyone oh sweet okay let's see if we get that bog in here no bog in here oh dog no bog in there I must have got it out of the system it's so weird anyways as a toy these things have to make you feel something. And maybe electrics make some people feel things. Not, not a whole lot for me. You know, what electrics do well for me if I owned one, which I'm not against them. I wanna be clear, I'm not against electric cars. I, I see that they have an absolute excellent uh, place for a lot of people. And in town, if you're doing, like, I think electrics could absolutely replace, and they already kind of have um, bicycles, um, and they could replace scooters. Like, you know, who's touring on a scooter unless you get a 300cc Vespa? And even then, right? Those wheels are tiny. It's not like the best vehicle to tour on. So, like, that's the perfect opportunity for Honda. Uh, is is to, and that's where they use the mobile power packs with their like more of their scooter electrics but mid to full size bikes could you ever imagine a gold <laughs> a gold wing going electric it just makes zero sense okay so i'm excited for the mobility show but you know as as honda teased in that image it's the mobility show is just uh, I thought that was a Previa for a second. I got excited. Was definitely not a Previa.
<laughs> oh man. Quick shifter is nice, but it's always more more satisfactory to bang through your own gears. Um, especially on the upshifts. Like this thing, I still I haven't put in the work to even get my downshifts uh, perfect because it's just easier to do it manual. But like the Grom, like single cylinders and twins, they're so easy for manual rev rev matching downshifts. But like I don't know, it's it seems like the, this inline four. Maybe it's just maybe I haven't ridden enough bikes. But the inline four, it just revs so fast that it's not the easiest uh, to, to rev match manually. But anyway, do you think Honda showcasing these electrics at the mobility show above their gas models is, is the right thing? I mean, look, they're investing tons of money, tons and tons of money into these electric motorcycles. Meanwhile, we're just like, hey, can I get a retro Hornet over here? Uh, can I get a CB1000F or a CB750F? Oh, more importantly, I just want a CB500 or, or a GB500 Classic. That's what I want. I would love to replace the Grom with something like that. Air-cooled single cylinder, tons of, tons of less like old school vibes to it. You know, that's what I want. But here's Honda thinking that they know best. So I'll see you guys in the comments. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the mobility show. And I also forgot to mention, Kawasaki has a Z1100 coming out. If you want me to cover that strange decision by Kawasaki, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Ride safe and peace.